Thank you for watching Nursing School Explained. In this video today, we are going to assess the patient's brachial artery, which sits right here above the elbow crease. And students sometimes have a little bit trouble finding that, but it's a very important landmark because it's also the spot where we set up our manual blood pressure cuff, or actually also the automatic blood pressure cuff. So, um, because the brachial artery is what we actually measure in the blood pressure. So we have the patient's elbow crease here and the brachial pulse will lie just to the inside of the elbow crease. So remember, not, don't go away from the patient, go immediately towards the patient's torso. You, we could um, lift the sleeve up a little bit and then always use two fingers, your index and your middle finger to find the artery and the artery runs this way so you want to set the fingers up parallel or in line with the artery rather than next to each other because that will be difficult to find so in order to palpate the patient's bicep muscle is right here we want to go around that muscle or to the side of it right above that elbow crease and press down gently if we can't find it right away it's okay to move with the patient's, the patient's skin and then see if we can detect the artery underneath. In this case I have found it right here. So I'm going to count for 15 seconds, multiply this by 4 or count for 30 seconds and multiply it by 2 to get my beats per minute. Remember as always if the rate here is irregular it's always best to count for a full minute or listen to the patient's apical pulse to get the exact heart rate if it is irregular and check out my separate video that I have about assessing an irregular heart rate at the apical site. Thanks for watching Nursing School Explained. See you in the next video.